In my last uh, video of scenery update, I said I was going to do something with that block of polystyrene there, which I got out of a packing case. And uh, I said I was going to continue that little forest along there. Now, uh, that's what I'm going to do. But I have to tell you that if uh, Mark Towan, I think that's how you pronounce his name, if he could see how I'm going to do it, he'd probably cringe because he is extremely good at making dioramas. Now, I can reach over there, but it's a bit awkward to uh, do all the detail work. So I'm going to make it on the bench uh, in such a way that I can place it back in there by hand. Uh, so I'm starting off with uh, two pieces of cardboard and I'm going to stick them together so that they are the same length as the piece of polystyrene. Right, well, with that done, I now place the piece of cardboard there and I'm going to try and mark where the track goes so I can cut it off uh, so it fits just behind the track. And that seems to be not too bad. Now I need to see where the polystyrene is going to sit on the cardboard so I can mark that off and, uh, and then stick the polystyrene to the cardboard. And to do that I'm going to try using a hot glue gun. So we'll see if I can get it down quickly enough before it goes off. So that's about right there. Got it. Now where it's going to fill up against that uh, tunnel entrance, that's a sort of grey stone wall in there. And here we have a vertical surface, so I think there ought to be a little bit of stone walling along here. So uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll do that. So I'll just take a piece of this uh, cardboard, which. Um, was the off cut from the other, the other piece and uh, we'll put it on there and we'll take the stone wall to about there I reckon and it's got to be that sort of height there and so we'll cut that off and um, just crack in with that that's um, one and three quarter inches uh, one and three quarter inches there, like there. Mark that off. And then we'll make it on a slope like that a little bit. Okay. Well, cut that out. Now we stick that on there. And that gives our vertical wall. So, I will give the wall a bit of a capping, uh, so a piece of old uh, balsa wood, mark off the length of that, be about there, and we'll cut that off, I'll just make the capping about that wide. Stick that on there. Right, 
There we go. And then uh, you need a bit down down this bit here. That bit long. Off there, a bit about that length. Right, so that's ready for painting. And for my a lot of my scenery painting, I use these uh, little sample pots from Wilkinson's, and this time I'm going to use uh, this grey colour and this very dark colour called Supernova. And the brush I use is uh, a dirty brush, and I use this for most of my scenery painting. And first I'm going to get, paint it grey. Make the whole thing there grey. Right, now I want to uh, darken it down. I'm just going to take some black. What's in the supernova? And while the other's still wet, I'm just going to show you over it, mess it about a bit. Oh, I think I'd like it a little bit darker than that, so a bit more. And see if I can get some of the brush strokes out of that. And that's uh, sorry, mixed up enough, didn't it? different shades in there that's uh, that's good that's very good okay so that's it I don't bother to brush brush out because the next time I do some painting it gives it more character so I've got to let that dry now uh, before I can mark the, uh, the stone on so uh, in the meantime, it's down to the cellar where we have the tumble dryer. So off we go down there now. Uh, down the stairs to the cellar. Well, the entrance to our cellar is uh, from the outside. So we just go down here. Got the cellar door. There we are, the cellar. And then we have the tumble dryer. And the produce from the tumble dryer is, put some light on, fluff. It comes off the filter and I save all the fluff in this little plastic bag. Okay, we're back at the, uh, the workbench with uh, the bag of tumble dryer flour, fluff. And this piece here is vertical also, but I want it to slope a little bit. So what I'm going to do there is take some paper, scrunch it up and use a plaster of Paris bandage over the top. So let's get that done now. Right, so I've got my uh, tray of water. I've cut up some uh, plaster of Paris bandage. And I've got two pieces here of the uh, kitchen roll. And I'm just going to scrunch those up like that. And that will be along there somewhere. We just get some tape. Take that on. Uh, get it off my fingers first. Do that.
Isn't it? stop this and uh, I've had it on for real a couple of times when I broke my arms and first of all I was on for 16 weeks uh, I was out in, in Kenya and I was swinging I was sort of what, 12 years 11 years old and I was swinging on a vine and the vine broke and I fell and I landed with my elbow between two logs and the vine just was big one and it just went over and broke my arm. I stood up and my arm came here and this lot here was just dangling down there. Uh, I knew I'd broken it. My father made a splint out of some sticks and some uh, string. And we drove then about 60 miles over dirt roads to the nearest hospital <coughs> so I could get it sorted. It was painful. Anyway, now we have to let that dry. And uh, when it's dry, we can use the tumble dryer fluff. So that's it. For now, we have to wait. It's time to go and have a a vodka that mac or a whiskey mac, one or the other. See you later. Okay, this paint is uh, dry enough now. I've just got a, a black pen and I'm going to start making the stonework. Like so. I'll do it on. A little bit uh, tedious, but never mind. It all has to be done. Well, because that's uh, a little bit too sharp, I'm just going to do a quick general brush over with a dry brush, take some of the shine off it, and that's beginning to look a little bit better. So we'll we'll call that lot uh, done for the moment, and um, I'll have a drop more of it with uh, uh, one come back. Good. Now this end uh, still isn't dry properly yet, but that's okay. It's, it's dry enough for me to do the next stage on that, which is to put the tumble dryer fluff on. Right, so what I've done, I've made myself up a little pot of 50% uh, uh, water and PVA glue, and I'm using the same dirty old uh, scenery brush that I use for the wall and now I'm just going to paint that uh, onto the surface like that and then having done a little bit like so Take some of the tumble dryer fluff, take out the dog hairs, and spread it out a little bit. Dab it on. Dab it into the into the wet PVA water glue, and that's sort of muck it about a little bit. A few more dog hairs there, 
Um, and then when you've got it spread out a little bit, let the brush or PVA and just work it in. And then you start to get the contour of the, the rocks and the dirt and everything else that makes up that little uh, cliff face. Well, it's not a cliff really, it's a banking, isn't it? The bank. Or as they say in the Midlands of England, the bonk. Uh, you've got to go down the bonk. So we'll dub a bit more in there. Now because the forest floor wouldn't be flat, dead flat like that, I'm going to do the same thing over the over the forest floor. Just loads of uh, PBO glue. And that will just give a bit of shape to the forest floor that will. Now um, we need Give it a base colour. So I'm going to use the brown uh, again using the uh, Wilco sample paints, the emulsion, and now we'll just give the whole thing a base uh, colour. And I'm doing it while the PBA glue is still wet because it will all dry together. It's coming on, but <clears throat> now we'll get some of that uh, very dark supernova and uh, without cleaning the brush out, just rub a bit of that on. And you can start to see the thing now coming to life more like a, a bank, and when we get some. Greenery on there as well. That'll be that'll be looking good. Darker in the under the forest. Right now that we really will have to let dry uh, completely before we do any more. So uh, go and watch a bit of telly or have another drink or anything to pass the time away. So that's as far as we're getting for the moment. Well there it is now uh, drying and if you'd like to see how it works out when it's in place over there then uh, you'll have to watch the next video because this one's getting too long. So Thanks for watching so far and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.